Okay, well, here we have one Stalker 9F DX European UK AM FM SSB export transceiver. This is the UK import version, which of course has the uh, legal stamp there on the front. And over there on the band switch, we have the high and low for your 80 channels and the UK and normal setting as this radio came standard from the Uniden factory with a little sub PCB fitted with a reference crystal on and as it uses the uh, binary dividers in this one it uh, has a little board and a reprogramming so you can have the 40 UK FM channels. Now this one's come to me and I shall show you what is not right with this radio. Now we're on upper sideband and my Revex meter is here and we're going to TX and see what power we have. Audio, 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 audio. As you can see, good output there on the meter. On the Revex, audio, audio. Four, four. We are peaking a good 20 watts PEP. Now we're going to go over to AM. Key the mic off the scale. Mm, shouldn't be that high, should it? On the Revex, off the 20 watt scale. No way should it be that high. Okay. And we have exactly the same result. Off the scale. Should only be about 5 watts. Now down here on the side of the radio, you can see there, there is a very crude variable power control. There it is. Now when I turn this variable power control all the way one way, nothing happens. Power is the same. I can turn it all the way in the middle there. And the same. Now all the way down there and again it's the same. I suspect that this crude power modification which I've seen on so many Uniden type transceivers especially Cobra 148s and 360s is the result of the 2SA1012 Toshiba output supply regulator has got too hot and burned out because there's just too much current been passing for it with too much output from this radio in AM and FM mode. So, I am now going to take out the 2SA1012, install a new one, and with any luck, our radio will be back to how it should be. Right, well, our Stalker 9FDX is all back in one piece. The new 2SA1012 Toshiba output supply regulator is installed. Now let's see if our radio is working as it should be. There we are, we're on FM mode to start off with. So, we'll key the mic. And there we have on the power meter, on the radio there, we have about four. Now, I'm adjusting the variable power control here on the side there. And there we are. Our output power is now variable once more. There we are on the Revex. You can see the power going up and down there. Down to 1 watt. And it will go all the way up to about just over 10 watts. There it is on the meter. Now, let's have a look on AM and see if we have any swing. Now, the power there, let's just set the output on the radio. A little bit higher and then we have about four watts output now on the Revex audio 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 there we have some swing so 
just check SSB, make sure it's still functioning correctly. Audio, 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 20 watts pep. So there we go, there's our Stalker 9 FDX back to operational condition. Crude power control, don't know who put that in, obviously working again, but was probably the result why this radio's output regulator failed in the first place. If you're going to run it at 10 watts plus, it's going to get very hot and it's going to burn out. And it also destroys the AM audio. The higher the carrier on AM, the less depth there is to the modulation and it just destroys the quality of the audio. So it's best in a radio like this that the power is kept down to about 5 watts carrier power. 7, no more, I would suggest.